Barbie dolls. It's gonna go here. Yes, I am on the floor. It's a little chaotic behind me. Hopefully this is okay for right now. Haven't quite decided what my new setup's gonna be. I don't know what my new look's gonna be. I don't know. But I am bringing to you today a doll video slash unboxing. So if that is your thing or you just want to hear me babble while you do something, then grab a tea, grab your project or whatever you're doing, homework, <laughs> and uh, let's, let's get into the video. We are going to take a look at Draculaura. So this is Gen 3 Draculaura from Monster High, Mattel, not sponsored. I found this at my Walmart the other day. Finally, they're making their way into Canada, into my province, which is New Brunswick. I swear I was on Facebook and it was like every <laughs> province except for mine and I was like, Hello, we're we gonna be the last ones. Like, I didn't see anybody from New Brunswick talking about them at all. So, I got two Draculaura because I wanted to have one kept how she is. And then you would think maybe I'd want one in the box. No, I want to unbox her to restyle her. <laughs> so, that's what we're gonna do. They're quite easy to open, there's just a bit of tape up here, and then the sides and bottom literally pop out. On the back it has her and then some of the other ghouls. This light's gonna... It's a cute heart but oh my gosh stop it. Ooh. Monster type. Fantastic vampire. Monster must have SPF 500 and cherry juice. She's a vegetarian vampire so she does not drink blood. Monster pet cow. Fabulous. Super cute little bat very cute art popping those off and then you might not even have to take the tape off the top just crack it just crack it open ah wow this light is harsh so this is already like cut out which is super cute like i'm gonna use them for i don't know crafts and this pops out too and it's already like cut out and I'm just weird. I keep little pieces from the boxes to use as like art and stuff because like this just slides out. Camera battery died. Let's see if we can get through this. All right, so let's look at her accessories. She's got little glasses. Then she has a little bottle of cherry juice. There's like two little cherries with little faces on it and the lid actually pops off it's so cute the straw is just like a solid little piece there's also some like molding uh, looking like dripping juice down and like the handle kind of has like a drippy style to it as well then like the back said she likes to carry around spf 500 then we have a little snack that is a super adorable little pretzel dude. I don't even know. He's got pretzel wings and some eyes with eyelashes. And it comes out and back into this little container. She can hold it and eat it. Then we have a little cape for her. And there was this little cardboard like clothes hanger. Then we have a cute little Count Fabulous. And the last of the accessories on the side is this little book bag that's shaped like a heart. It has stitching and some black wings. Super cute. You can fit some things in it like the SPF 500 and her snack at the very least. And now let's get her and her little phone out to take a closer look. And here she is out of the box. She is so precious. She's my favorite Monster High character. I love the music video that they put out for her. I love her style. I I'm biased though, like I just love her so much. Let's take a detailed look at her and her little phone. So I know in the original series they had eye 
coffins. The characters seem to have different shaped phones for this gen. This one is coffin shaped, but it has like a bat on top and like her heart with the little fangs on the back. And then I'm pretty sure they all have a variety of different icons on it as well. As for accessories that are on her, she has a pink ring on her finger that's quite large, some cute heart earrings with little bat wings, and this headband that has a heart and little wings on it as well. Little socks, cute pink shoes, bit of a platform to them, beautiful like blouse sort of dress, but it's open in the front and then there's these adorable shorts on underneath. I think this one could use a restyle. Let's pick out some new clothes for her. I heard that they fit pretty well in rainbow high doll clothing and shoes, so we're gonna test that out. Pop those off. You don't need hands. I'm going to restyle her in. So I wanted to try her tank top first with this other skirt, but the pink tank top that she comes with fits quite loose when it's not over top of the blouse. I think I might have to add another shirt underneath if I want to use this, but the jacket and shoes, skirt, super cute. I just like twisted her hair. The white t-shirt definitely helped a little bit. Um, the rainbow shadow high clothing is a little bit big on her but it's still super adorable. I popped her glasses on top there. I also wanna try this on her, I believe. And I think she would, like, it would look good with some tights, but I don't know if I should re-add these or, I don't think I have black tights for my other dolls yet, unless they're on one of them. There's black and white striped um, socks that might look cute. Sock, no sock. I still haven't given her her hands back. <laughs> what do we think? Well, that's all for today's video. I'd love to know your thoughts on this doll, on this generation of Monster High, on the restyle. Leave all your comments or questions down below in the comment section. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!